So, bags, ever since like last year, have to get W bags because they're huge. And if you've been to Comic Con, you know how huge the WB bags are. Every day it's like a different bag and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I didn't get the Harry Potter bags because we didn't go there early enough. Um, and it, we basically waited two hours to get our bags just like the first day. And so I think by the time we like actually got on the floor, uh, they were all gone. So didn't get a Harry Potter bag, but it was a really cool Harry Potter bag. So for WB, all the bags we got. All the bags I got. Oh, I got an extra one. But first bag I got, which was on Thursday, it's Watchmen Director's Cut. I can see. Look at how huge this is. Like, it goes up to almost my waist. And last year I used one of these bags and just grabbed so much crap. So huge. It's like a laundry bag. So I got a Watchmen bag. Next bag I got was um, Superman, Batman, Public Enemy bag. I don't know if you can see all that. And then on the other side is Batman, DCBeyond.com. So, this is the bag. It's kind of cool. It's like a whole bunch of characters on it. Um, and along with that, my friend had grabbed this and she didn't want it, so I got a Batman Superman Hope Enemies cake. And I wore this on Saturday to Hell Age. It was kind of creepy. So, red on one side for Superman and then black on the other side for Batman. So, pretty cool. Use this as a blanket when I was in the pain because I get cold pretty easily. So, and AC was blasting, which is good because it was kind of hot outside. Um, next bag I got. Now this is over the course of four days, so it wasn't all the like, same day that I got this bag. On this side, Vampire Diaries. I can see that. Now, I don't watch TV, and I don't have cable, so I might just have to watch regular TV again. Just because of the show, and Ian Somerhalder's in this, such a cutie. So, I might just have to start watching TV again, because of the show. Um, Human Target. Um, Fox. I think this is a TV show coming up, or a movie or something like that. TV show, probably. Um, my friend Katie said it's supposed to be pretty good, so I'm gonna have to check that out. Um, and then, last bag I got, I actually went to both these panels. Um, it's Fringe on one side. Got to see Joshua Jackson in the cast, and the q and panel is actually pretty funny. So, yeah. And then on this side is V. It's a new show that's gonna be out in, I think, November. And it has, um, Michelle Davis, Elizabeth, something, uh, I forgot her name, but it's, she's the lady that plays Juliet on Lost. Um, Marina Baccarin's gonna be in this, Scott Wolf from Party of Five. Like, he hasn't, like, done shows in ages, so this is probably his, like, first show since, like, forever. And, like, a whole bunch of other people I can't name right now. Um, for the panel, we saw the entire pilot episode. Pretty cool so far. So definitely gonna watch it and see how it is. So and then I got an extra French bag from my friend and stuff. So that's WB bags. Um, staying on WB, we actually got these Rock Band Lego Rock Band VIP access badges. Um, there was one every day, and then if you went and played. You got it punched out, I don't know if you can punch out, and then you picked up a shirt from the WB uh, booth. Um, we only got it for Thursday and stuff like that because we couldn't find when they were passing it out on the other days. But So that's the badge we got for it, and this is the shirt that we redeemed it for. Pretty cool. Um, if you haven't played Rock Band, it's pretty cool. It's, it, don't be afraid to play it. I mean, it's fun. You don't have to be really good at it as long as you're having fun and stuff. Um, when I play with my friends, I usually, or my boyfriend's family, um, I usually do vocals, but I'm trying to get better at drums and guitar, so, yeah, pretty good. Um, another bag I got, and this is 
from Dark Horse. Um, I couldn't get the clamp 25th anniversary ones, which had the both mulch nuts on it. Um, for me, I only passed it on Thursday, so I left out on that. But I got a Buffy the Vampire Slayer one instead. Pretty cool. And stuff. Um, <coughs> so, excuse me. I'm like a little sick, so yeah. Um, other bags I got. I got a Dark Hunter one. I was just grabbing free crap on Sunday with my friend and then just passed by this booth and got a poster and got this little bag right here. Um, kind of cool. Probably gonna get it to someone who's kind of small. Stuff. Um, got my friend Tina a Charlie Brown t-shirt or a Snoopy t-shirt because she loves like Snoopy and Charlie Brown stuff and they had a Snoopy booth like they did last year. And I gave her a shirt, I just got the bag. Kind of cute. Um, there is this group called Tofu Girls, and they have like cute stuff, kind of like be cute, and got a plan bag, it's on the other side of it. Um, the Broken Soul Cousin got one that had a pirate on it on one side, and like parch on the other side, it was like bright blue and green, so $25, pretty good deal. And I think like on Sunday it was like 2 for 40 or something. Um, stopped by Viz Media, and I didn't find out that if I had my yellow bag from last year, I probably would have gotten this bag for free. But, so, it's Naruto Shippuden on one side, and on the other side is Rinde. Um, don't know about this, but I have to look into it. Uh, I need to catch up on my anime and stuff. And in order to get this bag, you have to buy something. Um, they didn't have... Some of the stuff from last year, which unfortunately I wanted the Vampire Night Mirror that they had last year, but they didn't have it. So I got Leash Volume 27. Um, it's the latest volume, I think. And so just adding it to my collection and stuff like that. So 